Hi, welcome back. So what we're going to do now is to start to add uh, some interactive components to the page. And we'll start by having a look at adding a, 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 a pop-up window to the page. Now this isn't the sort of pop-up windows that have been annoying in the past on the web uh, where they pop up and get hidden behind the browser. These actually pop up within the browser, and actually physically part of the page and they're used often used for dialogue boxes where some sort of message or input is expected but we're going to include that we use them here to include additional information within the page so what we'll do is uh, we'll click into the components page oh, sorry the bootstrap page outside and have a look at javascript uh, section and but what we're going to actually add in is a modal window. Now don't worry about the fact that this is in the JavaScript section. We don't actually need any code to to get this to work. We've added all the code that we need. Uh, here's the live demo and we're going to add something that looks a bit like this. So what happens is the rest of the page is darkened, the window is highlighted and you can't actually interact with, uh, with anything on the page um, whilst that window is open. So, if we go back, you notice, or I should say, that the window has an opener and then there's the window element. So, the example here is basically all that we're going to use in our own version. So, there's a sample piece of code on the, on the um, bootstrap page, which is for the button. That's going to trigger the opening of the, of the window and then here's some code which uh, contains the content. Um, so let's click back to our text editor and we'll go up to the top and we're going to put it um, in our first row underneath this text. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to add in a an anchor link and I'm, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this little code that I've already that's not the right code, we need to link that from code that I've already uh, created I'll explain what we've got here so this is an anchor link, it's the same sort of link that we have when we're making a link to, a, to, a, to another page and it has some slightly different attributes the most important of which is this first one here, where it's just data dash toggle. And what this is saying is, I actually, Bootstrap is going to treat this, this anchor link as the initiator for a modal window. And it's going to have um, a reference. Now, this would normally be a URL. But in this case, it's going to be a reference to a, a window that it's going to open and the hash means that it's looking for an, uh, an object in the page that has a, uh, an ID of my modal. So that's what that's saying. Um, now we've added some classes here that come with um, Bootstrap so that this looks like a button. And so we've said it's a button class it's button primary and it's button large. Now, if you want to have a look at the button classes, um, or perhaps make it something else, you can go into the JavaScript um, section and have a look at um, do, do the components, buttons, button, 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 CSS. buttons, there we go. So these are the different types of button that, that there are, uh, large button, default button, small button. So at the moment we've got a button, button primary, button large. Um, actually let's take the button large out and make, just make it a, a default button for the moment. So we'll click back here and just take this, this button large out. And then this is the text that's going to go on, the, on what looks like the button. Let's save this and have a look. And 
Now we've got our button launch a view of the solar system. Now we can click it, but, but nothing's going to happen because we haven't actually added in the object to the page which is going to be opened. So, what we need to do is go back to our editor and immediately below this we're going to add in a and I've taken this code straight from the bootstrap page we're going to add in our div which is the outer div for the, for the modal window and you see it has a class of modal so that tells so, so bootstrap knows that this is going to be a modal window it has an ID of my modal which is the as you'll notice here is the ID referred to in the href section of the link above, which is the launcher. So when this look is clicked, it looks for uh, something in the page with an ID of my model, and it says, that's my window. Um, it has various other sections which are important from an accessibility point of view. So, um, I keep these in under under advisement from the uh, Bootstrap page, uh, Bootstrap documentation, um, to help with uh, accessibility for screen readers, etc. Then within um, that div, we actually have the the content itself. So we have another div for the class of modal dialog. We'll close that down. And as with the panel, a modal window has various uh, sections. Um, it has a, or it can have um, a header, a footer, and body. It needs to have body. Uh, the header and footer are, are optional. And all of that is wrapped up in the content of the uh, of the modal window. So we'll start with a div. Calls modal dash header. Modal dash body. And then finally, modal dash footer. Oops. Uh, so you, you you don't actually need all of the the um, the sections, uh, but you do need the body. Okay, so starting um, at the at the head, you can add, there are some elements that you can include that allow you to close the the, the, the header. So we're going to add in a button. You don't have to include these, but you, in this example, I am. I'm going to add in a button, um, which will allow the user to close the window. These are designed to work with the, the modal window. Now again, you don't really need to know um, a lot about what is happening in the background here. 
um, just to know that it, it works. And once you've copied this face, uh, this code, you can use it over and over again. Um, one thing that we've done in the past when I've worked with um, with designers, learning designers, is um, is to create snippets of code that can be reused over and over again. Um, and just uh, simple pieces of content change each time. So that gives us a close button in the um, top of the uh, page. And we just want to have a title in there as well. So we're going to go H or class equals modal Dutch title we call it the solar system because we're going to have a picture in here of the, of the whole solar system um, now we'll, we'll add some content to the, mid, to the body um, in a moment but we'll just also add a different sort of close button in the footer. And this is going to be a more traditional button. The first one is a bit like the, uh, the close um, button that you see on a window in, uh, in Windows uh, with a little cross. Um, but essentially these two both do the, the same thing. Equals. So we're saying that the data dash dismissal method, which is picked up by by Bootstrap, is going to actually dismiss the modal window. This is going to have some text in it, which will be will be close. And now we need to add some text into the middle. Now we're going to put an image in here, and um, I already have an image. Um, which I've pulled from the um, oops, I've pulled from the Wikipedia site. So I'm going to just copy that, and I'm going to put it into um, my resources folder. Just. So there we have um, a file called Planets um, 2013, and that's what we're going to include. So, to add that into our body, we're going to add an image. And if you have a nice WYSIWYG editor, of course, you can just drag that image into the page. Dreamweaver, for example, or uh, another WYSIWYG editor. Um, but we'll just type this out. Our source is going to be resources, which is the folder, or slash planets 2013.jpg and of course we need to give it an alt text uh, for accessibility we'll call it the, the solar system and we'll just finish that image tag now we're also going to add in a little bit of text underneath that um, to explain what it is that's being shown. And in this case, it's just going to say the sun and planets, which we capitalized, of the solar system. Sizes are to scale, distances are not to scale. I'll just put a link to the original doc, uh, the original um, image in here, because that's where we got it from. 
I'll just copy this link across. There we have it. So now we have, hopefully, let's test this at the moment. We've got an opener, which is our, our anchor link at the top. We've got a, then a modal object in the page, which has an ID of my modal. Let's see if this will work. Uh, we'll reload the page. And given that I've got a bit of movement there, I suspect this isn't going to work. Oh no, it has, it has. Um, but I do think I've missed some, uh, I've got a bit of a coding error there. And also what we've got is that hey, the image is wider than the, than the box that um, pops up for the um, to hold the solar system image in. So let's fix those two things. We'll close that. And the close isn't working properly either. So I think I've just got a couple of things wrong in there. So let's have a look. Now, where, where can I put it? Now, there's something that looks a little odd. Um, let's see what happens now. Oh, the clothes. Oh, no, the clothes is still not working, so I think I've just got a bit of code wrong somewhere. Uh, Let's make sure I've got the class equals close. What I'll do is I'll just copy over the control S working code and let's reload now. There we go. Not quite sure what I was missing there, but something. Now, how do we change that um, uh, that width? Well, remember earlier we had a, a folder that we created um, that we called um, CSS. And what we can do is add in our own style sheet in here. So we have a new text document and we'll call it styles.css and then we'll open that in the text editor um, and remember right at the top of this page we referred to something in CSS forward slash styles so what we can now do in here is to actually set a value for my model uh, or the width of my model. So what we'll do is find an element that has a uh, an identity, an ID of modal, not sorry, my modal, um, that is of the class modal dash dialog and we will specifically set that width to be eight hundred and sixty pixels and if we save that now and go back to our page and refresh we should find that we now get a wider dialog box and it fits the image perfectly and we can so there's the there's the image and there's the the small text that we put underneath it and our open our close at the top in the header close at the bottom works and there's our heading for the modal window okay so 
again, with almost, um, well, certainly no JavaScript coding and a little bit of HTML coding, we've managed to get a, uh, a modal window to work onto our page. And we could repeat this over and over again um, by simply having an opener that refers to a different ID and making sure that the ID of the thing that's being opened matches it. And then we can change the content that goes in each of those so we can have lots of openers on the same page. There's a simple example of how to add a window to our page. And again, we've almost had no code whatsoever. In our next um, video, what we're going to do is... Um, what are we going to do? Let's just have a look. We're going to add some tool tips which are really easy to add um, and add a lot of value. And um, I'll show you that in the next video. Okay, thanks.